Hey guys, so we got some of the parts in for the turbo swap on the red truck, which you guys are going to be seeing very soon. Um, so I was just going to kind of show you what I got really quick, and we're going to hop into the actual exciting part and fun part of this video. All right, so I'm charging up the draggy for the rest of this video, but I wanted to show you guys what I got from Ford for this turbo swap. So one of the things I got for the turbo swap was a bunch of O-rings for all the turbo oil inlet and outlet tubes, the water inlet and outlet tubes. So we want to make sure that I have all of those new seals to put in there. Here's a couple more. And then we have these, um, these bushings right here. Now, these are very strange looking. They go um, in the actual turbo, in the actual um, exhaust side of the turbo where it mates right up to the cylinder or the uh where it mates right up to the exhaust manifold these go inside the turbo um, i'll show you that when i get the turbos from C crp some catalytic converter nuts these parts right here these are the studs that screw into the turbo right here and then this part it looks exactly like the 2.7 part um the stud so we've got four of those we need two on each turbo brand new ones um, CRP is going to be taking the old ones off, so we won't have to do that. All of the bolts to screw in the turbos onto the exhaust manifolds. Um, it looks like they give you eight of them, four per package. So you end up with two spares because you only need three on each turbo. I went ahead and ordered also one of these stupid um, PCV lines because um, I broke the orange plastic thing. All right, guys, so I have, we have this Can-Am four-wheeler. We also have a Polaris. And I was wondering the other day, how fast is a Polaris or a Can-Am zero to 60? Now, the only thing is um, a four-wheeler is not the same scale size as a truck so or a car. So zero to 60 doesn't really seem like fair or doesn't seem like a good test. So I was thinking zero to 30 might be a little more like comparable to like a vehicle in a four wheeler size. So I'm gonna do a zero to 30. And we're gonna see how fast this thing, 60 foot and all that type of stuff. Um, 60 is just, it's a pretty fast on a four wheeler. So I think that we'll keep the scale down um, and we'll try to Pretend as though this is just scaled down, so we're going to scale the speed down. So, I need to gas this thing up because it's almost empty, and then we will go out and test it. Alright, so, this is a Can-Am. It's an 850. So, it is not underpowered. That one is uh, 570, so I think it would be a lot slower. This thing is much quicker. And I went ahead and put the draggy right here. Uh, it's got a little magnet on it, so it's going to sit right there.
All right, so as you guys can see, the Can-Am is actually pretty fast. Um, it did zero to 30 in like 2.8 se some seconds on the one pull, the last pull that I did. And the other pulls was like around three point something seconds. Very quick, I'm gonna put those videos on here. You guys can see them. Um, this four wheeler is really fast. Um, some point we'll check and we'll see how quick the Polaris is, but it's gonna be nowhere near as quick as the 850. But uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty fun actually. Um, might do some more stuff with the Can-Am and the Polaris maybe in the future on this channel. Um, because it's not just a car, it's not just a truck channel. Um, we, I just, we do anything with engines, anything with turbos. I mean, these don't have turbos, but anything with engines, um, anything that makes power. So, <laughs> um, shoot, maybe there'll be a chainsaw. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, that was really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Kind of a short video, but it's kind of setting us up and preparing us for the soon coming turbos for the red truck, which you guys are going to absolutely love that. So um, there may be a little bit of a dead space before I have another video. The red truck is up there, alive and well. She's running great on the Boost King tune. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.